What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we did actually snipe out some crazy stuff. We made over 500,000 MT with these. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. Because, man, this method I'm going to show you right here, I have literally aced it. I've aced it. I've aced it. I've aced it. And I don't want you guys to ace it. I want you guys to make as much as MT as I got. So, yeah, before we get into the video, make sure to smash that sub button, drop the like, all that good stuff like I said already. Follow the Twitter, selling MT on Twitter, bro. We got the cheapest, the fastest, reliable price on Twitter. Also doing MT giveaways. So, if you guys would please drop the sub, greatly appreciated. And, yeah, man, Bugs, is, Bugs hold this W because we just got this man for freaking 400, no, 560K. 560K. You don't believe me? Check out my Twitter. I literally can't believe it. I've aced this method. I'm going to go over it very strategically. I've came to the conclusion on this is how it works and it makes sense. So I've honestly mastered the auction house glitch. We're going to go over it in this video. How are you going to make a lot of MT? First off, you need at least 200k MT. So if you didn't sell your cards, today's not a bad time to do so. That's all I'm going to say. This method is going to make you hundreds of thousands of MT. If you have 200k, 100k, 10k, whatever. This is the method. I'm going to go over it in this video very slowly so you can grasp it so you understand. This method is absolutely the best method in the game. New MT making method off the auction house glitch. It is money. Let's get into it. So this is what I've came to the conclusion of. Let's go over it. So if you guys do not know, the auction house is back. It's glitched. It's not glitched right now. There's no hours. You can see all the cards. That's fine. So ready? I came to the conclusion. Between 12 and five, 12 and 6 Eastern, the auction house does break, and this is what you should do. So now, if you want to make a lot of MT, you listen to me because this is the best method ever. So now, before the market market crashes, right, before it glitches, you will see some of these cards at 30 seconds, and then you'll refresh, and you'll see them at 3 hours, okay? Simple. So now, I came to the conclusion. So now, when these cards, whatever, they're ending, right? If you scroll down, 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 you will see from like about the 45 minute mark to around the two hour something mark, you cannot see those cards. But now listen to this. Then as the auction house officially breaks and you can no longer, you can no longer see these cards like whatsoever. You cannot see these cards whatsoever. All these cards are poof. Usually people have their bids on already. Whatever. What I did, Mr. Bugs took his MT methods, put them all together and pull the shack, pull two Vince Carters, almost pull the T-Mac. Here's how you do it. So, I like to do it with a lot of MT. As you can see, I have no MT right now because I got Shaq, I got Giannis, I got T Mac, I got Luca. I dropped all my bag on this glitch. Um, it's crazy, bro. Stuff's going wild right now. So here's how you do it. So now, when the market starts to glitch, it's not totally, totally there. So let's go over it. So let's say, all right, there's 30 seconds, whatever. You go down more, 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 more. You're going to see cards at like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then all of a sudden it's going to go to an hour. This is what I do with the Vince Carter. So, so pretty much you refresh, it's there. You refresh again, and it's not there. It's back to three hours and 50 minutes up. So now that's what you do. You refresh again. You scroll all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And you look at the cards that are literally, you just look at the cards with the lowest bid. So what I did um, before the market even crashed, I would say about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I got lucky. Before it crashed, I scrolled over to a shack with about two hours something left, and I bidded 500 something K on it, okay? 500 something K, whatever. I actually ended up getting back 70 K, so I got them for like 560. It would have been six something, but I got them, uh, no one outbidded me. So here's the thing. Now, why do I say you need a lot of MT for this? Because this is the thing that came to my mind. So let's say you have a Vince Carter bid for around 100 K, right? 100 K, you get outbidded. So now you're going to see the card right here. You are going to see outbidded. So now what you want to do, you do not want to go into your auctions and do not, you do not want to place the empty bid. It just means that one other person had his bid on it. So you're in a bidding war with only one kid in the whole world. So now what you want to do, let's say the Vince car is up to 120, you bid up to 160. Literally, do not get your MT back yet. You want to keep that MT there. Do not press it because if you press it, then this card goes poof. 
So that's number one. That's simple. You want to have at least, I would say, at least 300k if you're bidding on one Opal. Because if you're going for an Opal that's 150k plus, you're going to need that extra MT here. So let's say you have 300k, you bid 120 on Vince, you get outbidded, he's 130. You bid up to 160 with seconds left on this active bid page. You're going to get him guaranteed. I promise you, get him guaranteed with one second left. And then you could finally outbid this card. Yeah, if you didn't have any other bids, it's going to suck. But whatever you got outbid it on, if you can't afford it, just go ahead and redo this. But now here's the thing. You want to place the bids up. I would say, let's say you want to be on the auction for like 12 to 5. You can make 500k easily if you have a mill. Easily. I made 500k with 900k. It's so simple. I literally, literally double my MT. I made 500, over 500,000. I made 500k off Shaq. I made 100k off Vince. I made 100k off another Vince. And I made like 20k off Draymond. What the hell is going on? I don't know. But it always happens during the day, 12 to 6 Eastern. It does not happen at any other time. It was at 1 o'clock Eastern today. What I did was literally 20 minutes before the auction crashed. I literally just sat here. I bid it on T-Mac. I bid it on Shaq. I got lucky. Shaq didn't show anymore. T-Mac was still showing. So kids outbidded me on T-Mac. And I didn't have enough to do this method. This method literally is simple. You could do it with pink diamonds. You could do it with pink diamonds. This is going to be the best MT making method ever. What? Eddie Curry's 150k. I just sold mine for 68k. What? No way. Oh my goodness. Eddie Curry's a god. I knew he was that good. I sniped him for 64 and 68. If I would have waited, I could have sold him for 150. Are you serious, bro? That card is that OP. Wow. Alrighty. So I botched. I botched. I could have. If you picked up Eddie Curry's for 50k, bro, 60k. Wow, you're dubbing out. You're dubbing out. He's over 100. You're going to 100K plus your MT. So if you picked up five for 250, you're now making 500, over 500K. Bro, you're going to make like 300K clean. That's crazy. But that's not the point of this video, man. The point is this. I'm getting out this method. I don't care. People are going to ruin it. You really can't ruin it. There's so many Opals on the auction. And you're going to make a lot of MT this way. So literally, the method is. I did it by center. As you can see, there's not a lot of centers. I scrolled down. I saw there was like cards up for 40 minutes left, bid it on it, an hour left, bid on it, two hours left, bid on it, three hours left, pushing it. I got outbidded. I had two shag bids. I got outbidded on one. It happens. So whatever. I won the other one. You know why? Because that one was actually on the one hour, two hour mark. The other shag was on the three hour mark. So I came to the conclusion, you want to do it between like 30 minutes to three hours. You might get outbidded though at first, but you might not. It depends on who you're bidding with. It depends who you outbid and how much MT they have. I got lucky. I guess the kid I outbidded Shaq on had no more MT left, and he tapped, and I got the Shaq for free. 70 came back. Huge Ws on my part. My squad is looking deadly. I mean, obviously, I can make it way better. I got plenty of MT to go by. I could get millions if I wanted to. But the fact that I just made 500K out of my butt and I got Shaq for half the price is absolutely insane. So now what you want to do if you want to do it to pink diamonds, go by position, go by players, whatever cards you want, whatever cards you like. It's the same thing for these cards. I would recommend trying it on Rudy Gay, Paul George, because honestly, those cards do go for a lot. Um, Paul George is still a freaking 130K, 150K. So try it on Paul George. Go over to the freaking hour mark, two hour mark. It's W's. It's so easy. Uh, Paul George, of course, Giannis. You can make at least 100K on this card. He's going for 188K with with all those he's gonna go for 200 something if you did it with pink diamond Giannis, i know one guy that did it with pink diamond lebron made a ton of mc um you could do it with Giannis, bro if you go to the point guard Giannis, this might be a very good card too you go over to around let's say one hour 30 minutes one hour 40 minutes i would bid on this right here 358 i could sell them for 500 make a quick 100k it's that simple you just need mt to come by that's why i consistently say sell your cards sell your cards sell your cards you don't sell your cards how are you going to make MT? You need MT to make MT. It's simple. It's a simple method. If you don't get it, it's pretty much luck. You just got to start bidding throughout the day. You get out bidded. You go. You keep doing it again. You keep doing it again. Go play a TTO game. Come out. See if the market's crashed. Hop on the filters. Hop on the filters. Hop on the filters. And sometimes you can honestly get a snipe because not a lot of people snipe during this time. So, Galaxy Oval Filter's back. I don't know if it's exactly back, but right now it looks back. So, just some tips. Easy tips. You're going to make a lot of MT if you follow this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content, yo. We're, we're goaded. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going, bitch.